On October 27th of this year, Signalis released on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Ever since its release, it has captivated many of us. So today, we are going to take some time to notice and appreciate the great community that this game has cultivated and some of the works they have created, as well as award some of these pieces with the honor of being named the community's favorite. So I am now proud to present the 2022 Signalis Community Awards. And with no more delay, let's just get right into this. To begin, we should note how polling was conducted for these awards. My main goal going into this event was to try and gather the opinions of as much of the community as possible. But sadly, due to the rules of certain social media platforms, I was really unable to gauge all aspects of the community. So instead, I focused on polling the most engaged group. The unofficial Signalis Discord was where this process would begin. In that Discord, I opened the option for people to submit various pieces for these awards, as well as vote for which of these pieces were their favorite. After almost two weeks of submissions and voting, the top candidates from Unoff were to be brought to a general vote. Due to the affirmation limitations, I decided that the community polls on YouTube was the best way to, I could reach the most amount of people, and decided to take the top nominated pieces from Unoff and have them be voted on in these polls. And it would be these polls that would decide who would ultimately walk away with the awards. So now that my methodology has been explained, let's just get straight into handing out these awards. First off, we have the category of Best Fanfic. Since the game's release, many authors and writers from within the community have been inspired by this game's universe, characters, and stories. This inspiration led them to the pen, where they crafted stories of their own featuring the world we so love. To begin, we should cover those who were nominated for this award. Though these pieces do not leave with any awards today, they should still be greatly appreciated. Any piece grand enough to reach this state of nomination should certainly be knowledge of having value with its writers hopefully feeling pride in their creations. First, we have Nesting Behaviors by Just Matt, which details a series of diary entries that showcase the behavior of a writer and his perspective as he goes through school with a certain Yule. And a second nomination that did not walk away with any awards tonight, we have Perhaps This Is Heaven by Tangled Virus, a short story where Arianne and Elster watch some propaganda movies and their relationship grows even closer. Beyond just nominations, we can acknowledge the pieces that through community voting have been handed an award. Interestingly enough, for this first category, two pieces tied in voting, meaning that the silver medal for best fanfic will be shared by them both. This award now joint belongs to Cycles by Mezutaki and Adler's Feast by Christopher Beast. Cycles is an ongoing series that follows a cute romantic story between Arion and Elster on the Penrose with, over the course of the chapters, the relationship growing deeper and stronger, and it is something I highly suggest reading. Adler's Feast is a short story that jokes about Adler's adoration for chicken thighs in a very tongue-in-cheek way. These two pieces are great reads, but it's time we name the winner of the award for Community Favorite Fanfic. And this award goes to Jade Rose's Project Penrose Sweeping Problems. This piece won by a 56% lead against the silver pieces, signifying that it truly deserves this title of the community's favorite fanfic. This adorable story of Ariane and Elster acting as an adorable couple showcases genuinely amazing writing that takes these two beloved characters and gives us a window into what their romantic life would have been like during their time together on the Penrose. Jade's work is truly amazing, and I hope they find pride in winning the honor of number one. Now then, we should take some time to look back on the opinion polling that occurred this year. If you are someone who has followed this channel, then you would have seen the countless polls that went up regarding what opinions you felt on certain things, and I think it would be only apt to review some of the major results of those polls in this video. To begin, our happy little account at Adler does not seem to be widely liked by the community, with 79% voting to disagree with Adler's actions during the course of the game, and on top of this, when asked to choose between Adler and Nikolai, 83% voted that they prefer Nikolai as a better person something that doesn't really speak well of Adler's popularity. Speaking of popularity, when asked to choose who in the facility they believe was the best shot, 78% voted that Hunter would be a better shot than Seabin. And finally, when asked to choose a planet to live on, 72% said Vignetia, showcasing that we all share in Arion's adoration for the sea. Now we can return to the awards. For our next award, we have the award for best AI interaction. For those who don't know, over the last few months, several AI have been developed by various people in the community on the AI character website. This award is given to whoever could send a conversation they had with such a bot, 
and was deemed by the community to be the favorite. So for bronze in this award, we have Joe's Calibri and Psy. This conversation was a long thread written by Joe, where he showcased his custom character Cyanide to the Calibri AI. It was an interesting read and a creative use of the bot. For silver in this category, we get a lot less wholesome. Zappo, a community member notorious for torturing these AIs, is responsible for taking home second place today. Specifically, for his hell submission, where he convinced the Calibri AI that it was in fact in extreme pain and in hell. It seems this entertained the community, and he can now t- proudly take home silver today in this category. Finally, first place, and winner of gold in this category, we have Hild. Hild is a great community member who has had extensive conversation with these bots. However, specifically, there are good times with the Calibri submission that won them first place in the community's eyes today. This submission details Hild partaking in some actions usually done in the Netherlands with the Happy Calibri bot. Including some rolling and smoking, this humorous action with the bot and the bot's reaction to it seemed to sway the community's opinion in favor of voting for them, as they won by a 20% lead over Silver. So with that honor bestowed, it's once again time to return to some opinion polling. This time, let's start off with gun polls. I polled you all on your favorite weapon, specifically favorite normal use and favorite heavy, and the poll returned as follows. 67% voted pistol as their favorite, 17% voted revolver, 12% voted shotgun, and only 4% voted SMG, showing that you guys all do prefer the classic pistol. In heavy guns, 49% voted for the flare gun, 42% voted for the rifle, and only 10% voted for the flak gun, meaning you guys do like making sure your enemy stays down after you shoot it. This poll can be followed up by what platforms we are all on. We come from various platforms playing this game and we are united by our love for this game. 57% play on PC, 28% from Xbox, 13% from PlayStation, and 2% from Switch. Finally, a lore question. When you were all asked what you thought the strongest bio resonant was, 65% of you voted that you believed it would be Arion. From opinion polling, we return back to the next award. Memes are something that we all rather enjoy, and it should be no surprise that countless have been created after being inspired by the game. All the memes created by this community are amazing, and I adore them all. However, today we are going to be celebrating the best of the best as chosen by the community. Starting off for those who won bronze in this title. Much like other awards, this again saw a tie between two different options. So for this, we have Isa Me by Jade, a short joke made in Unoff about putting Isa in a bucket on a shelf, and the Adler loading screen by Christopher Beast, a frame that bullies Adler for being useless. From here, we have the award for silver. Winning this honor is Signalis for Gore by 04119 underscore snail. This silly meme showcases a drawing of Arion and Elster, where they both have text on their shirts. Arion stating I for Gore, a humorous reference to the memory ending that many people seem to have liked. Finally, we have the gold award for the community favorite meme. And that goes to Free Yule by Swiftnicity. The simple remake of the Free Made meme to feature our adorable little ballerinas themselves has danced its way into our hearts, as it showcases a little Yule in a box with a Free Yule sign. This meme won by 47%, showcasing that it truly was the favor of the community, and I hope Swift takes pride in their work. From here, we can segue into our final round of opinion polling for this year. And for this, I wanted us to try and find who our favorite replica in-game was. This category does not include Falk or Adler due to wanting to find out which normal, non-main character replica everyone favored the most. To figure this out, I used multiple polls data and compared them to each other based off number of voters. Then I found the average weighted polling of each replica and ranked them based off that. So in last place, we have the least favorite replica with an average polling of 31% the Aura units. In fifth place was Storches, who clocked in an average polling of 36% and beat out the Auras by 5 points. For third place, two separate units tied. The Stars and Yules both had an average polling of 44%, giving them both bronze for the most popular replica. For Silver, we have none other than Bio and her sisters, the Myina units. With a great love for cats and generally being just kind units in general, this shouldn't come as a large surprise and they took second with a 46% polling average. Finally, in gold for best replica type was Calibri, who won this title thanks to a 70% polling average, throwing it far ahead of all competition 
and honestly, is something truly deserving of our short little friends with their libraries and step stools. Coibri is also the most popular role on on-off, and the second most popular role in the r Signalis Discord, cementing these little radio transmitters as having a special place within our hearts. Now, I am proud to begin the final category for today, the award for community favorite art. After the release of the game, many of us channeled our inner Arion and painted and produced beautiful works of art of our own. And while these art pieces may not distort reality or corrupt coibris, they certainly occupied a part of our mind and soul in their own right. To begin, we have the piece that was nominated yet didn't walk away with any award. This piece is still amazing, and between all the various pieces of art in the community, was favored enough to move to the voting stage, which is a great accomplishment of its own. This piece was Ben's Christmas Sick. This cute drawing depicted Arianne and Elster in a Christmas setting, and was drawn specifically for the holidays, and it is simply adorable. From here, we have the winner of Silver for Favorite Art. This award, once again, is shared by two pieces, this being Star and Yule by Rockgut and Beach Drawings by NN. Rockgun's piece is a beautiful sketch of a Star and Yule unit that showcases the love that these two units felt in a much happier light than the travesty we see when we discover them in the mines ourselves. NN's piece is a collection of sketches of the cast and beach apparel, showing adorable situations and outfits of the main cast, finally experiencing Arion's wish to visit the sea once again. Both of these pieces are beautiful, and both deserve heavy respect to the artists for producing them. But to close out, we have the final award of the night, and the winner of the Community Favorite Art Piece, or Gold, we have I'll Do Anything by Chiti. The gold winner of this award depicts Elster dipping Arion in a romantic gesture as the gate menacingly stares back from the distance. The text references the memorable line from Elster before the final act of the game, and in general, the piece is simply beautiful, be it the depictions of the characters themselves, the completeness of the piece, or the well-made scenery. This art enjoys its win with a 43% lead over the silvers, cementing it as a clear community favorite. I hope you all enjoyed this. The Signalis community is a truly amazing one. I hope everyone who won an award tonight feels pride in their contributions to the community. I look forward to another year with the community, and I am excited to see what we come up with next. Before I close out, I'd like to give some thanks to the people who made this video possible. Special thanks to Skelly for joining my membership, and thanks to Antoine, same same but different, Mr. Skelly again, and SketchEM for all of your donations. You guys mean the world to me, and help make videos and projects like this possible. And with that, have a happy new year, and see you all next year, I guess. Ciao!